Take 19, Mark. Hi guys, I'm Molly Sims and this is my GFF, Marissa Lippert, who happens to be a gluten-free expert. It's not always easy to live gluten-free, but I have to say, it's easier than you think. Sometimes it does take a little effort, but with the right information and the right strategies, it can and should be effortless. And that comes with great support from your friends and family. I've been cooking this summer and I have to say I'm not the best cook, but I've really been experimenting and last week I made gluten-free pizza. So I did two kinds of pizza. I did gluten-free crust with all different kinds of toppings and then I also did another thing called a cauliflower crust pizza, which is gluten naturally gluten-free. Naturally gluten-free. But I think it was so fun because A, I'd never had gluten-free pizza that I'd actually made. So I had the confidence to make it and I have to say it was really good. I was really proud of myself. Speaking about dinner, there's also after dinner dessert. <laughs> My favorite part. I might be a nutritionist, but I will never pass up dessert. So there is a smart and strategic way to indulge, and that's why I love sort of the variety that we have going on here. I think a lot of people think, you know, just because you're gluten-free, you can't have all those goodies. I mean, the one thing I love about Udi's, even though I just started with the granola in the beginning, you've got your brownie bites, you can make your whoopie pies with your own frosting, your chocolate chip muffins. Look, I mean, how pretty is that? So that's your muffin with your own frosting. You can have gluten-free wafers, you can have chocolate chip cookies. Sometimes you either have to experiment a little bit if you're going to tackle baking a gluten-free product in, the, in your own kitchen, or what's great about the convenience of a, a product like Moody's is the variety, and then it, it, you know, it tastes good, and you can feel confident in eating it. And what's great is they have a whole Facebook page and community for sharing recipes, sharing tips. You're just interacting that much more around gluten-free items, recipes. It's empowering and it's communication, and that's the important thing. Yeah, I think you know, cooking this summer with my girlfriends, we're all very healthy, and but we all learn from one another, and I think what you were saying about like sharing information and sharing tips, your idea of it's great to be gluten-free, but be gluten-free with portion size. I mean, that was my number one mistake. I thought, oh, something was good for me, I could have the entire right. box. So I think, you know, going on different blogs, going on, you know, udisglutenfree.com and really sharing your information. And so if you have any great recipes, put them on, share with your girlfriends, and just don't tell your husbands it's gluten-free.